Not gonna lie, I should probably stop working on cars because apparently I don't know what I'm doing. Nice, real nice, Devin. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Came to the shop this morning, all stoked to uh, actually really make some progress on the Evo 8 and walk in the shop and notice red fluid on the ground underneath the car, power steering pumps leaking, and you guys are gonna probably die of laughter when I show you guys or tell you guys why. Hold on, let me pull out this damn truck that takes up the whole shop. Whew, she sounds good. So, uh, there's one main seal or O-ring in the power steering pump and I have a new one. And as, as I was cleaning up the table where we were working on the power steering pump, I noticed that the O-ring was on the table. So that means the O-ring is not in the pump. I don't know how I didn't notice it leaking yesterday without a missing O-ring, but it's leaking and it's leaking bad. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay, well, I'm just gonna pull that pump off real quick, put the O-ring in. Why can I rebuild the entire car nearly, but I can't get a freaking power steering pump right? The first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time. What is this now, like time number nine that we're gonna have this pump off. Here's our O-ring that we need to install. It's very, very important. So yeah, that's where we're at right now, guys. But after we get this done, I'm not gonna work on the ABS or the ACD system. Don't really care about that right now. I'm gonna fix the brakes on the car because we'll explain later on, but the front brakes are acting hella, hella sus. So we gotta fix the front brakes on the car. Probably put the fenders on it, headlights, don't really care about like the bumper or the hood. Mm, I don't know, maybe is that illegal? No bumper, no hood. I guess we could bolt them on real quick. We need to take them back off for other work later on, but I'm, I need to go drive the car, get these miles on it, get this oil change done because we are at like five miles on the car max. Get this, get this oil change done and then we can, uh, and we need to data log the car some more as well. So I'm going ahead right now and bleeding all of the air out of the system. And how you do that is actually very, very simple. We'll get the front end up in the air. I'm using the lift. I know it's probably not recommended, but that's what I'm doing. Uh, I've got the front end up in the air, pull the cap off the reservoir, turn the wheel left to right until it stops making noise pretty much. Go drive the car and make sure it's good to go. This car has also that pretty bad oil leak coming from the oil from the turbo drain and I ordered up some of those. Let me just show you guys what they are because I always forget what they're called. But until these things come in, we can't really like put a ton of miles on the car. That's what they are. So they go in with the AN fitting and it's basically how I understand it is if you tighten an AN fitting too much, they can start leaking. And somewhere down the line, I didn't buy this turbo kit new. So somewhere down the line, someone must have cranked on that thing really hard and it caused that to leak. So these are dash 10 conical seal is what it's called. So when those show up, we can get those things on and actually put like hundreds and hundreds and thousands of miles in the car, but it's not like a super bad leak to where we can't drive it at all. So um, yeah, moving on to the brake issue. Let's uh, kind of dive into that. All right, let's go drive the car. So basically what it was doing, and it's very, very intermittent. It's super strange. First drive ever, everything is going fine. Pulled in the parking lot for the shop and the car was like getting stuck, right? Without hitting the brakes. It felt like you were hitting the brakes, but you were not hitting the brakes. And I pulled it up on the lift and both front wheels were a little bit locked up. You could turn them, but it was super stiff. Next morning came to the shop and everything was fine. Everything turned fine. When I drove the car, happened a little bit right when I pulled out of the shop. I went and put like another mile on it and everything was fine. So I'm gonna go drive it again. Maybe it was just like a fluke issue and it's gone now. But it, to me, it seems like a, either a master cylinder issue or a brake booster issue. But the brake booster seems fine. And how 
I've always tested the brake booster. If you shut the car down and you pump the brakes, they'll eventually build up to like a ton of, ton of pressure. And if you fire the car up, the pedal should go down a little bit further, be a little bit more mushy. And that seems to be working fine on here. Another thing I noticed when the brakes were kind of locking up a little bit is the pedal got super, super stiff. So I'm not sure if pressure is being built up somewhere. It's kind of what it seems like and it's just pushing those pistons out on the pads and locking everything. But let's go around the block and see if it does it again. Like right now the brakes seem to be working 100% perfect. Uh, I hate running the single one fuel as well. A little sketchy. Dang, that turbo is loud. Oh, I freaking love this car. Okay, everything seemed fine with the brakes, 100% perfectly fine, no issues whatsoever. So let's go ahead and slap on the fenders, headlights, bumper hood, kind of get it temporarily assembled. Of course, we still need to do something with, so being, being that this car factory is the electric blue color, right? We have this kind of like a hyper blue color wrap on it, which I absolutely love. I know a lot of you guys don't like it, but it's okay. Um, we need to do something with this right here because that is going to look kind of funny in the engine bay. So either do black right there or blue. And then of course the fenders as well. There's that little ship right there that we need to do something with. And then the bottom side of the hood is still the factory electric blue. So all that we need to deal with, obviously that's not important right now, but later on down the road, when this thing's hundred percent buttoned up, like mechanically, we got to get all that situated, but yeah, let's go ahead and stop on those body panels. We can rip her down to the gas station, fill it up on some fuel, and put some more miles on it. This is the most exciting day so far. All right, my friends, we got the car half assly reassembled. Everything's bolted on, it ain't gonna fly off, but like the gaps and everything are pretty, pretty jank. Still no side skirts, but I don't really care because we don't need those to be legal. Now we do have a problem with our fuse box relocation. I test fit the fender hood headlight bumper with just the fuse box, but I don't know if you guys remember, we built that cover or the shield for it, and that is hitting the bumper and the headlight so we need to do a little bit of work down there. Maybe get it resituated just a little bit, get that squared away, but other than that, oh wow, beautiful gap, Devin. <laughs> Sick. All right, we should be good. I'm gonna check the fluids real quick, just to make sure, and then we're gonna go on our first long-ish drive. Maybe like, I don't know how many miles. I guess we'll see. We'll just feel it out, and if everything's going good, we'll keep going. Quick little dialogue session. Mm -hmm. Preview exhaust cavity. They're really running that one. Okay, so the first thing that Chag wants, or the first thing that we're doing today. Hey, I got a haircut is a, a five minute idle log for Chag and then, then we can go drive it. We are gonna go rip this thing, or not rip it, but just a light cruise to the gas station and uh, see what happens. Let's dip. That trip ski school though. Whoa. See the brakes are 100% perfect right now. Yeah. Why Bobby, why? Explain that know. in layman's terms. I don't know. Is it because they just decided they wanted to work? For real though. I'm not gonna tear nothing apart if they ain't broken. Why fix what ain't broke? That's what my dad taught me back in the day. Mm -hmm. It runs so good for just a base map. 
Something came flinging. Let's go see what that was all about. Let's stop the data logger. Oh, redneck Rickham Devon. It was a pretty loud noise. I'm gonna go find that damn bolt just to see what it was. Huh, I don't know. That was a very sus noise. I'm gonna go run and grab that bolt or like mm -hmm. see if I can find it. What if it's something important like a goddamn. Maybe that's like the busiest road in Spokane. You're not going on the bridge to offend Goodbye. people. Goodbye. No! What if it's a rod? It might be a rod. Damn ass car. This is fun. <sighs> might as well get a workout in for the day. I couldn't find it. it. Must not be that important. Obviously, if it fell off and the damn thing runs, we good. It's probably not very big either. It sounded loud though. <sighs> I'm out of shape. <sighs> Did you find your bolt? No. I just wanted to see what it was to like see where it's from to see if it's important. And you didn't see anything? Um, it's probably small. It must be a small bolt. Everything sounds fine. Maybe. Oil pressure's good. No clanks or rattles. Oh, I'm fat. Send it. To the gas station we go. Wow. Giant covers on the ground. My exhaust is hitting it. Oh my god. Well, have you seen how big they are? They're like 10 feet tall. That damn truck could probably rub on those things. Well, we made it to the gas station, so it's a start. think is she built enough for you yeah. <laughs> thanks for being my head prop oh, shit. I just have my glasses on oh all right guys well first drive was fairly successful other than losing some piece of hardware not exactly sure what it was but we made it to here it's like five miles we put on the car today and uh this is going to be the last drive until we can get all of those oil leaks fixed from that turbo return line. But yeah, sick. I dig it. I need to order some hood struts because we did the hood prop delete mod for the mount. We like shaved that guy off. So Bobby's been being my hood prop. But yeah, that's a wrap, boys. I hope you enjoyed. I know we didn't do much, but we ripped it and it sounds insane. So goodbye. Oh, and also guys, the brakes were 100% spotless, perfect, flawless, perfection that whole time that we just put all those miles on it. So I don't know what was going on. It was a, it was a little freak incident, apparently. Something I've never really felt before, and it was very odd. But if it doesn't do it again, whatever. There's no point in digging into it and tearing into it, trying to replicate the problem if it's not gonna happen again, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna call that good. I think we're gonna work on another card for the next few days.